Hi, so one day you open your MacBook and these weird lines or weird image appears on the screen. Then you go to Apple and they tell you, well, the repair cost will cost you around $400 to $800. Well, this MacBook came exactly with the same issue. And no, it's not entirely a customer's fault. Actually, it's more of Apple's fault. Mostly this issue occurs on the 13-inch MacBooks from the 2016 till now. And here I have another MacBook with the same issue. Well, as I said, it's mostly not the customer's fault that this happens. So the issue is that the dust accumulates in this area where the screen's flex cables are located. And after time, the small dust particles, with the help of the cooler fan and opening and closing the lid millions of times through the years. The dust becomes bigger or some sort of micro trash gets in there and then the fun begins. Well, this micro trash and dust can damage a thin and fragile flex cable as the one that Apple put in their devices. Even though they add an extra layer of protection, still it didn't help. And the customer's fault here is that he doesn't clean his MacBook. Well, it's recommended at least twice a year that you clean your MacBook from the dust inside and replace the CPU's thermal paste. Well, here's the thing. In older models, people also didn't clean their MacBooks and didn't change the thermal paste. Still, none of these issues happened, so we are safe to say that most of the blame is Apple's and their design. We'll not bore you with the details of the disassembly, just instruct you through the screen removal and so on. Okay, you'll need a thin plastic to cut through the glue. Also, you'll need a heating platform with the vacuum section. I let it heat up for a few minutes before I start the process. The temperature is 50 to 55 degrees and don't let it get very hot or leave it the heating on all the time. Just simply turn the heat off and when you feel that cutting through the glue gets a little harder, turn the heating on. The issue is if you leave the heat on for a long time you will damage the backlight film. 
That's okay, you can buy the backlight film online and it's not that expensive. It's just time consuming to replace it. The hardest part is the top section. There are more glue and you'll need to pay attention to the camera. Most important thing, don't rush, take your time and keep an eye on the heat. It's better if it takes you from 30 to 40 minutes than to damage the screen or the backlight film. As for the dust on the backlight film, it's okay, just wipe your desk with wet towel to clean the dust that can flow in the air and onto the backlight film. Clean the old leftover glue and try not to use any rubbing alcohol or any other liquids to avoid damaging the film. If you decide to use rubbing alcohol, use an ear Q-tip with minimum amount of the liquid. And while you clean the screen, hide the lid in a box or some sort to keep it clean from the dust. The screen on the other hand, you can use rubbing alcohol to clean. Just be very gentle and careful. As for our main issue, I just replaced the flex cables with new ones. I will leave a link to them in the description. To remove the old ones, I use a 100 degree solder to lower the temperature of the solder on the flux cables, thus reducing the temperature I need to apply with the soldering iron to prevent damaging the screen. As for soldering the new flex, I add a regular solder to the pins, a 183 degree. The point is that I still use the same temperature as in the removal process. The first step is to lower the factory solder, which is much higher than the one I use. Even though the solder I use to solder the new flex cable is higher, I still only have to use the tip of the soldering iron to solder the pins, so it won't overheat the screen. Also will not be showing the assembly part as I will leave a link to another video on my channel where I show all the details there.
well, no lines and no weird image anymore. This method will last you at least 2 to 3 years, maybe more, if you decide to clean your MacBook regularly. So that will be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below or contact me through the links in the description. Thanks for watching, see you next time.